Hey there everybody, it's your boy Z-Man welcoming you back to part 23 of our Pokemon Black Let's Play. In the last part we made it all the way through Route 4 without screwing up too much. And we walked in on this terrible scene, there's two guys fighting an old man. That's just not right. Gramps, we know you run the daycare. How do we know? Because we're Team Plasma. We're taking, away po we're taking Pokemon away from people. Since you, run a, since you work at a daycare, we figured you must have a lot of Pokemon. Hand them over! No! What kind of nonsense is this? And he... Oh, crap, he saw me. Dang it, now I can't run away. I was, I was gonna run away from the scene, but now it's too late. Oh, strong-looking trainer. I'm a ten-year-old boy. How am I a strong-looking trainer? Please help me. Oh, oh no. I, I don't want to help you. Leave me alone. If you're going to get in the way, we'll take your Pokemon too. I'm not getting in the way! Oh, we have to fight Team Plasma now. Shoot. I was, hope I was hoping to get away, We'd work around it. But, I guess I might as well fight the Team Plasma Grunt. And first Pokemon he's going to send out is a Watchog. It is a level 18. So we're going to send out War 2 is three-fourths of the way dead anyway, so... Might as well kill him completely. Let's use a Bubble Beam. And, oh, come on! Really? Detect? You're gonna be like that? Okay. You protected the bubble beam. There's no point to defect, detect except for you're wasting my PP on the bubble beam. And my PP on bubble beam lasts a lot longer than your PP on detect. And use detect again. That's the third detect you've used. Luckily, I believe detect only has like 5 or 10 PP, so he's almost done with that. And he used another bubble beam. Take him most of the way down. Seriously, sand attack? You're really gonna be like that? Alright. One more bubble beam should take care of it. He did not use detect, luckily. Oh, he avoid oh no, he avoided it. He's gonna start spamming sand attack because it worked. No, 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 we gotta hit, we gotta hit before our accuracy falls too low. Come on, bubble beam, hit hit with something. Come on, come on. Get him. Got the Watchhog. Watchhog is done. And that should be enough for Wart to grow to level 23. Awesomeness. He wants to move, learn to move Uproar, and I think we're going to learn that move, because Uproar has power of 90. Well, that's good. And Round has a power of 60. Let's forget Round, because they're both normal type special attacks, so I'll just forget how to use Round and learn the move Uproar. And he's going to send out Trubbish, which is the rubbish Pokemon. Yes, Trubbish the rubbish Pokemon. What a great... It's a, it's a freaking trash bag with a face. Pokemon, you're supposed to be like... And he's going to use Double Slap, which is going to hit like five or six times... Four or five times. Can't hit six... Oh, it only hit twice. That's one of the first times I've ever actually seen... Oh, now we've got the... Uh, we're almost dead music, that's always good. And here's another double slap. This one will hit like four or five times, even though it's called a double slap. You only get two hits. There's three. And Wart is dead, unfortunately. So let's send in Lou. Because Lou is underleveled for our team right now. He's only at level 22, whereas the rest of our Pokemon are like level 23. Let's throw down a rock throw since fighting type moves are not effective against poison type Pokemon. Go rock throw! Good. One more. One more rock throw. Come on. And he used acid spray, which is going to great greatly lower my special defense, although it doesn't do very much damage. One more rock throw, and we can defeat the Trubbish Pokemon. The trash bag with a face. Awesomeness. That thing's evolved form is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna run into one of those eventually, and oh my goodness, it is so bad. We've defeated Team Plasma. <gasps> oh no. That went downhill fast. I think we better run. Yeah, leave. Go away. Let's hide out in the amusement park. Good place to hide out. You know, because I definitely wasn't... I'm a kid, I'm definitely not gonna go into the amusement park. I didn't even know there was a music park here. I thought it was just a Ferris wheel. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. It's a brand new bike! Thank you, Price is Right Man. I'd always plan on riding around in Bossa City, but I never ended up riding it. And we get the bicycle for free just for helping an old man. 
Man, I'm gonna help old men a lot more often now. This is awesome. Yes, I know you have a daycare. I've met you. I've talked to you before. And I actually might go put a Pokemon there eventually, but first we have to catch the Pokemon I want to put there. And oh, we thought the cutscene was over, but no, here comes Bianca. The professor told me Nabasa City has lots of things to see and do. The amusement park, big stadium, small court. Stadium? There's a stadium? And a court? Oh, this is gonna be good. And the battle subway. I don't care about subways. I'm going to go see the Pokemon musical. See you later. And I definitely do not care about a Pokemon musical. Pokemon musical is... You know how bad the... How boring the contests are in the old other games. Musicals are so much worse. But we're going to go ahead and heal, so I'll be right back. Alright, we've got our Pokemon healed up, so let's come up here really quickly, because there's a few items just right up here in these awesome little buildings up here. Um, it doesn't look like it's any of these guys. Let's go upstairs and talk to this guy. I think he has it. When a Pokemon evolves, it gets stronger, and its appearance changes significantly. A Pokemon that you keep from evolving will learn moves more quickly. No, he just taught us a simple piece of advice, which is actually pretty cool. That fact that um, Pokemon learn moves faster if you do not evolve them, but they also stay weaker for longer, and they don't gain uh, HP points and attack points as quickly. Points like that, you know. If you love your Pokemon, even if it changes its appearance, you'll stay connected with your Pokemon. Maybe it's this guy. If I compared the glow of the Nimbasa to something, it would be the sun. Yes, the sun. It inspires me to give you this. And we get a sunstone. Awesome. It's a nice little stone you can give to certain Pokemon to help them evolve. I don't think we have any of those, but you know, like Katani. There we go. Katani is one of the Pokemon that evolves with a sunstone, but we're not going to be having Katani. And I'm pretty sure that's all we can do in that building, so let's head over here to the northwestern most building of the Pokemon Center. And we want to talk to... Hold up, we want to talk to this old lady over here. Oh? Oh my! Your temple seems to like you! That's so nice to see. Makes me want to give you this. And we get the Soothe Bell, which is a little bell you can give to one of your Pokémon. And for like, every certain amount of steps you take, it even it grows happier with you. And happiness po- yeah, it becomes more friendly to you. And happy Pokémon evolve faster if you have an evolving Pokemon that needs to be happy. But there's one more thing we can get here. Let's talk to this guy. Nope, not that guy. Maybe it's not in this building. Let's try this guy over here. Nope, not him. I guess it's not in this building. I thought it said it was in this building. Right northwest. I don't know. I guess I'm wrong. I'll, I'll go back there and check later, but I could have swore there was something in there. But while we wait for that, let's go ahead and enter the amusement park because amusement parks are awesome. And yes, we needed a load screen to do that. Seriously, did anything change? Somebody tell me, did something change here? I don't get it. We had to like cut to black just so we could do that. We're gonna do it again here? No, we're lucky. And, oh no. No, not Ponytail Guy. You're looking for Team Plasma, right? They ran into the amusement park. Come with me. And he's just gonna lead us straight to them. Awesome! This is good! No, wait, no. Where, where are they? Nope, they ran away. They're not here. Yeah, you knew that, didn't you, Anne? Let's ride the Ferris wheel and see if we can spot them. I love Ferris wheels. The circular motion, the mechanics. They're like collections of elegant formulas and we're oh we're actually going to ride in the ferris wheel with him that's weird although and if you if you can hear the music in the background because I'm, I'm talking a little bit too loud but and has an awesome thing first I must tell you I am the king of team plasma I have no control of these cutscenes Gettys asked me to work with him to save the Pokemon yeah I can't I can't make these cutscenes go faster, so I'm sorry, guys. I wonder how many Pokemon exist in this world. 
Well, at last count, around 500. Way too many. I keep adding a hundred more every freaking generation. It sucks. And that's it. We didn't even spot them. Oh, wait, we saw them. My lord N! You're safe, sire. Well, yeah. There's no problem. You're part of the people we brought in to help us save the Pokemon. So you're under my protection as well. Go, quickly, and let my battle cover your retreat. Now then, Z, do you follow my logic? You- there was logic? Where was the logic at? Sure, no. So that's how it is. That's unfortunate. Ah, then. The future I envision. Perhaps I can't beat you here now. But I'll battle you anyway to buy time. For, the me for these members of Team Plasma to flee. And we start the third part of our alphabet battle with N, who we have just learned is the king of the evil Team Plasma. He's a bad guy. Who would have guessed it? Now, N has four Pokemon. Um, first one he's going to send out there is a Sandile. Actually, all these Pokemon can be found on Route 4, and I believe also in the Desert Resort. But his first Pokemon is a Sandile, level 22. It knows the moves Assurance, Embargo, Mudslap, and Sand Tomb. And using some Wart action, we can easily beat this guy, because it is a ground type, which is weak to uh, water types. My little Pokemon are happy. Much happier than your Pokemon are. But Sandile is easy enough to beat as long as you have a water type Pokemon, which by now most of you probably do. So we took down him, we got some experience. He's going to send out Darumaka, which is a fire type Pokemon, so I might as well just leave Tim Pole in there. But Darumaka has the moves Fire Punch, Headbutt, Facade, and Uproar. Um, the only one that you want to worry about here is Facade because if he's poisoned, burned, or uh, paralyzed, it doubles in, like, doubles the, oh jeez, what he hit me with, I didn't even pay attention. But Wart fainted, that kind of sucks. Let's send out Lou to finish this up because he's underleveled. Um, let's throw down a rock throw because he's a fire type and fire is weak to, oh jeez, not a fire punch. Oh jeez. Oh, oh, oh man. And a critical hit. Oh. I'm, I'm seriously having trouble with the N right now. This is not good. Now he's gonna... I'm just gonna send out Luna. Maybe Luna can survive a punch from this guy. Come on, Luna. You can take a punch. You're a man. I keep forgetting that this that this Pokemon's a man. I mean, seriously. Who would ever think that this... Are you kidding me? Another... Cr oh. oh my goodness. No way. No freaking way. Go, Mac. Beat the crap out of this thing. Come on. Be faster than it. You're, you're leveled higher. Let's beat it. Headbutt. Oh, we avoided his attack and got off the headbutt. We beat it. Beat the Darumaka. Oh, jeez. That could have been really, really bad. Oh, wow. And he's going to send out a Scraggy. I do want to switch Pokemon. Let's send out Cav. Man, he got two critical hits on fire punches with an attacking fire Pokemon. That was, like, terrible. That's the Let's Player's curse for you, I'm not gonna lie. So he's gonna send out a Scraggy. Let's throw down a Leaf Tornado. And he avoided it. And he used Swagger, which is going to make us angry, but it's also going to confuse us. Our attack sharply rose, but we're also confused. Oh, jeez, this could be bad. Let's throw down a Leaf Tornado. Oh, he hit what? He avoided it again? Oh my goodness. Well, yes, the Scraggy, because I haven't told you yet, it knows the moves Swagger, Brick Break, Faint Attack, and Headbutt. And as you can see, Swagger... How is this? This thing, like, avoids my attack so much, but we did get its accuracy down. This will help a little bit. We avoided the Brick Break because of that little Leaf Tornado we threw. Let's throw out a Vine Whip since our attack is slightly raised. Luckily, Cav seems to have enough uh, sense of mind not to hurt itself with its own attacks, which is a good thing. Snapped out of the confusion, we got off of Vine Whip. We're gonna beat Scraggy. Got the Scraggy done. Now he's gonna send out his last Pokemon. This is a new Pokemon. This is... Oh, Cav grew to level four, 24. Not the Pokemon I wanted to grow. But he wants to learn to move Mega Drain. So we're going to forget the move Leech Seed and learn Mega Drain. And Mega Drain is an awesome attack because it is, it's 
pretty strong and uh, half of the HP that you take from the other opponent is given to you. But he's going to send out a new Pokemon. This is Sigalyph. Switch out to Mac because I think that Mac can do better against it. But it is a level 22 Psychic Flying type and it knows the moves. Whirlwind, Battle, uh, Whirlwind, Psybeam, Tailwind, and Air Cutter. And it is the creepiest looking bird Pokemon I've ever seen in my life. Look at that thing. Let's throw a Fire Punch at it. Let's see what the, how that works. He's going to use the Psybeam, which is unfortunately... Oh, it didn't do too much. That's good. Hopefully this Fire Punch will do enough. Not quite. But one more Fire Punch and we should take out this Sigalyph and somehow survive the Let's Player's Curse and defeat the Mr. N. Guy with ponytail and green hair and hat. I want to know why he wears a baseball cap. Only, only trainers, only the main players in the game are supposed to wear baseball caps. Come on. I don't, I don't know many other people that wear baseball caps and are actually trainers. But Matt grew to level 24. We've defeated N. The result was the same. But you, who are you? you got 4,400 bucks. Very, very nice. You're quite strong. But I have a future that I must change. And for that future... Oh, jeez, close up. I'll defeat the champion and become undef unbeatable, unlike any other. And I'll make all trainers free their Pokemon. Just try and stop me. If you want to be together with Pokemon, your only hope is to collect the badges from each area and head for the Pokemon League. Try and stop me there, if you dare. If your conviction is not strong enough, you will never be able to defeat me. Didn't I just beat you like three different times? But, oh, there's an item. Let's get this item and then we can finish up with... Oh, there's two items. Come over here first. Let's get this item. This is the X attack. Very nice. And if we come over here, we will find... The Super Repel. Yes, that gives me 11 Super Repels. So next time we go through a cave, we'll actually have some Super Repels to use. But here it is. This is the entrance to the Nimbasa City Pokemon Gym. Led by Elisa, the Shining Beauty. Oh, yes, she is. I didn't want to do that again. But anyway, thank you for watching part 23. In the next part, we will finally get to meet the amazing beauty that is Elisa. I will see you then.